YouTube, YouTube, what that stuff do, man. Go over there and hit me with a like and a thumbs up. Let me know I'm kicking my stuff, man. Look out for your boy, man. This right here, <clears throat> I kind of like to hit topics that, that motherfuckers really don't be touching out here, dog. That come along with this this G lifestyle, the street lifestyle, this hood lifestyle, this gang lifestyle that we choose, homie. But motherfuckers don't be like really kicking the hidden punches and the real shit behind the scenes type of shit with this shit, dog. And uh, since I started my YouTube channel, I got, uh, you know, young family members, you know what I'm saying, younger homeboys and shit, and they asked me little hood questions, homie. You know, and I and, and like I said, this is just all my analysis, all my thoughts and assumptions on this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? When I when I tell my stories, when I kick my shit, this is me, homie. You know what I'm saying? So this these is my opinions and shit. My homeboys might have different opinions to different topics that I talk about outside of my personal experiences with shit. But uh they was like, uh, have you ever been spooked or known niggas to be spooked of any of they homeboys, homie? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, my answer is, yeah, yeah, homie. You know, it ain't about being scared or spooked, I guess. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But when you coming up, homie, in the midst of some motherfucking monsters, homie, and you young, and this is what's going on, dog. And you ain't experienced or laced, or you are you in the process of, you know what I'm saying, getting all this shit together. Of course, nigga, you gonna be spooked to certain homies, dog. Cause we not the niggas that like starting these hoods, homie. We not the original dudes that you that we see on YouTube telling us how the hood started and this and this and that, homie. So we we coming in up under them dudes and, and dudes that came in up under them, homie. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you you coming onto a hood where it's already niggas found, David, homie. Niggas already banged up. Niggas already g'd up. Motherfuckers that didn't probably did did all kind of motherfucking shit. And back then, homie, like I said, homie, niggas character. Niggas dress code, niggas appearance is 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 totally motherfucking different, homie. Than what today homies dress, than what today homies look, homie. You know what I'm saying? You you had niggas with with Pendletons on, khakis, Chuck Taylors, red sweatshirts and and red khakis and red all stars, homie. Or, or niggas wearing red L.A. gears, brown khakis, red belts, and red sweatshirts, everything red, homie. You know what I'm saying? You got tall homies. You got short homies, homie. You got swole homies. You got skinny homies. And, and all these niggas is in your hood known for different shit, homie. You know? And, and, and back then, homie, you, you niggas, niggas, niggas fought in the hood constantly, homie. It, it was like gladiator school in the hood, nigga, in them 90s and shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? 90, 91, 92 and shit. Nigga, 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 it was just gladiator school, homie. You know what I'm saying? When I was coming from the hood, homie, I ain't gonna lie, homie. Niggas fought every day. Every day, all day. Niggas, niggas now... You tell a nigga to get down with his road dog, like fuck blood up, or a nigga crip, nigga fuck loke up, and 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 niggas will give some some mouth back, like nah, that's my nigga, or I, that's my people's homie. That'll get you knocked out by another homeboy back then. That's your people's. That's this. Nigga, you don't you motherfucking don't. We don't join that nigga to make your motherfucking rules up. We couldn't make our rules up back then. Like the young homies is able to do now, homie. 
So we so back then, nigga, you you might be chunking them with your road dogs. Y'all niggas might be toughening each other up every day, nigga. Year straight or something to niggas to the big homie start going to jail, county lives or shit like that, homie. Would I would I say that was praying on niggas? You know, I wouldn't say it was praying on niggas. It was toughening up niggas. You know what I'm saying? It was toughening up niggas. We might have didn't like how the shit was going, homie, but it made us solid niggas today, and it made niggas, that's why niggas pushed a certain way and, and, and established a certain character upon ourselves, homie, for dealing with dudes like this, homie. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, homie, nigga be getting down every day, homie, or put on. I didn't see niggas get put on the hood, nigga. And this nigga, this nigga get down every day because this different homies might come through. Like, who is this nigga? Especially if you got a little style about yourself, little character. Niggas want a piece of you, homie. Because everybody want to put that authority on you that I'm a big homie, homie. It ain't that I'm trying to punk you or this what it was, homie. But that's a position of a big homie, homie. That's even as I start getting older. You know, even though I let a young homeboy do a thing. And, and carry yourself like how you want to, homie. But it's still, when it come to me, it's, I, you know, it's rules. It's respect and it's rules, homie, because I'm going to respect the young homies back, homie. And go back to being spooked or niggas being scared of certain homies. That's because we knew each other capabilities, homie. You knew a nigga capabilities. This nigga was known for breaking backs. You know, if you get into it with this homie and it's a problem... Or this nigga get mad or something, homie. It's a possibility you can get your back broke, homie. You know what I'm saying? And also, after, you know, you being being spooked or some shit like that, uh, eventually just stand down, homie. You overcome them fears of, of certain homies with size. And, 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 and uh, certain homies might just be niggas that go on one and, 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 and want to bust. And you got to build your character up and say, if it go down, I got to be down to bust back. I got to be down to do this. But the homies built our characters with all that shit, homie. So when the niggas, you know, like I say, being spooked, being scared, like real niggas going to say we all been through that, homie. But we rolled it out and stuck it out. Nigga, we might have been the same age, but you like the homie a knockout artist or the homie this, homie. Or you know what I'm saying? But that's how it is when you in your beginning the stages of anything, homie, you're gonna be kinda spooked. You know what I'm saying? Or might be a little scared, homie, of 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 your surroundings, homie. That's that's natural, homie. The the, the soldier part of it is just making it through and getting on the level as the same dudes you eventually was spooked and scared of, homie. And they'll see the mature mature growth thing you and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, and then you just got hardcore homeboys, dog, and, 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 you know, niggas, one's probably spooked or scared, but you just know it come with a price with some of these homeboys, homie, I got homies from my neighborhood like that, a nigga not spooked and scared of these niggas, but a nigga just know certain shit come with a price, if you, if we fall out, you know what I'm saying, it can go all type of ways, homie. That's what make our generation different, you know. Even though we probably don't see eye to eye and different shit and all that shit, we got respect levels that's high for one another because we know what shit can go with one another, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, homie, we had homies that just, you know, they, they didn't run shit. They wasn't the main people but these dudes had character and styles that made people think that these was the main people and these was people that we looked up to out here and shit for, for, for guidance and shit homie you know what I'm saying even though these homies like I said these homies was like this but these was dudes we had to follow to get the game to get the knowledge to survive out here in the field homie you know what I'm saying and, and, and that's what's wrong with a lot of the young homies now, homie, they didn't have they they didn't have that discipline that the nineties had behind that shit, homie. You know what I'm saying? And and niggas in my generation, we get we get mad 
and kind of get in our feelings about with some of the big homies because we we feel like we the real young homies homie that that that's that's up under y'all versus the new little homies but it's just like a nigga had kids and and, and your moms or your pops treat your your the grandkid better than they treated y'all and treated us and shit so i be looking at the young homies like y'all niggas got it good nigga the nigga, nigga we nigga we couldn't hang out we couldn't smoke weed we couldn't do shit nigga if our if our street report cards one accurate, homie. You know what I'm saying? But as time progressed, homie, just like we changed and was, you know, my generation was kind of lenient with different young homies and shit like that, homie. You know, that's how it is with the older homies, homie, that was vicious and treacherous than a motherfucker, homie. They kind of like better at explaining shit and working with the young homies than how they worked with us, homie. But my personal opinion is that discipline should have stayed heavy in the field, homie, because that when, when niggas didn't stay disciplined heavily on motherfuckers, that made motherfuckers like feel like they could run their own program. It wasn't no repercussions majorly for, for, for the clumsy and felonious shit niggas was pulling off out here, homie. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I wish that Niggas could have stayed banded tight and kept the discipline flowing tough, homie. Because I came up under that discipline tough to where it was like, nigga, I'm non-tolerant, homie. You feel me? I feel like, nigga, if I can get it, would make the next nigga think he can't get it out here in this gangster shit. I was one of them type niggas out here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, homie, but yeah, homie, you know, shit, every hood, every hood had homies where certain niggas was like these, you know, was, was like, nigga, I'm not spooked, I'm not scared, I might be kind of spooked, because you, because we all got homies from our hoods that's, that's soldiered out like that, homie, you got crip hoods that had soldier ass, crazy ass homeboys, I done been in county jail with crazy ass crip niggas, you don't know where these niggas finna go with shit, homie, or, or with each other, homie. Them niggas go crazy and shit, nigga. I know blood niggas that's super crazy, nigga. And then, you know, SA's got homies that's super crazy and shit to where that's inside these hoods, homie, to where these motherfuckers then set a tone so hell of a for they sell to where, you know, you, you, they build you up to come correct, homie. You know what I'm saying? So... That's why a lot of motherfuckers in my generation, we move a certain type of way, dog, because we came from a certain type of cloth, you know what I'm saying, and got hit with different positions, homie. It's like my generation, niggas in my era, we had to double time because we, we got a chance to bang with the homies that first, like, started the set, the niggas that came the, the, that right after them, and, and then... We fucked with them and then the young homies. So you got some niggas that's out here on triple shifts, double shifts, and shit like that, homie. So, yeah, but that's just my take on, you know, being spooked or niggas being scared. Every hood got those homies that got beast homies, homie, you know. So, yeah, nigga, that ain't, you know, that ain't nothing new. That ain't nothing to feel different or feel something about yourself, homie. But just, you know, as being, you know, because that's if you knew. But as you as years and time take on and you dig into this shit and you sold it out, you wind up coming to find out that, dog, you know, it ain't about the physical appearance. It ain't about this. It's about the heart that we got inside of us that beat the same, that regulate the same, and, and that puts you on the same aspect as your, as your homeboys, homie. And these type homeboys, dog, that, we, that niggas say, that may have niggas spooked or who's scared of who. These niggas is, is these niggas know your growth, bro. These niggas know how to treat you, homie. You know what I'm saying? These like how we see an animal dealing with their cub or something like, damn, is they doing too? No, the big homies know how to treat us. They know our growth. And, and, and it's just, you know, that's what it is, homie. So it ain't no, them dudes don't prey on dudes. Them dudes is just beasts. They soldiers. That's what it be. And as you become a beast and soldier and shit, and they lace you, you become one of them. 
So now when you in the field, you got niggas of all appearance, but we got the same heart on this get down, homie. So that's just my take on it, dog. Turf shit, homie. 89 on up, homie. I'm just kicking shit that niggas don't kick, dog.